Okay, let's jump into the development. This Flask application looks like this. It's scrolling through this synthetic EEG that has a synthetic EMG artifacts in it. I don't know if it looks realistic to you or not. We can actually improve on it quite a bit, but uh, the EMG should look fairly good. I will start a new copilot session and a new GPT-4. Start from the index HTML. Fuzzy variables and sets. You've defined fuzzy variables, amplitude, frequency, artifact underscore risk, with membership functions. The use of trapezoidal membership functions, fuzz, trap MF, is appropriate for this application. Fuzzy rules. The defined rules, rule 1, rule 2, rule 3, are logical and cover different scenarios of amplitude and frequency interaction affecting artifact risk. Control system. The creation of a control system, artifact underscore detection underscore control, and its simulation, artifact underscore detection, are well implemented for the fuzzy logic application. Yeah, there are couple of things to improve. Uh, first of all, we would like all the charts and outputs to fit a single window. The membership functions, frequency, and artifact risk. The membership functions charts are not displaying anything. Current amplitude, current frequency, and current artifact risk are said to be not available. If you recommend not uh, generating the code yourself, please provide prompts to be used with GitHub Copilot. Copilot. I want the more specific stuff to my code. Can you, you have the code above. Can you double check the code? And I will provide instructions as to how to update it or prompts for GitHub Copilot. Yeah, we're getting some code. Fetch EG data. What changes were made? I do not know. So it's an async function. Const spawn generate the g response. Okay. Otherwise, throw an error. Const other wait response just fetched. Okay, there's no changes. Analyze and display. Fetch request and also make sure the server is running and endpoints correct. Correctly processed. Do I have? No, I have them separate at the moment. Display EG data. I do have it. Plotting result. Throw new error. Membership data. Display those. Okay. And then in EG scroll container event listener. Those are the same. They're just printing some stuff that won't do it, would it? That won't do it. Let's clear this quickly. Uh, something isn't right. Let's... Oh, sorry, we're logging. And to be logging, that's in JavaScript. We have a response object. Yeah, there's too many uh, nested arrays and stuff. Uh, okay, that's not cool. So this arrays. Do they even make sense? So we have amplitude, artifact risk and frequency and for each we have this arrays for low a medium high then we have the artifact risk nested again i don't know why so we have eg response and membership data okay we have all that stuff and we need to fix the code so it actually takes it actually plots it correctly so this will be, so the backend is sending data, okay. The JavaScript, okay, JavaScript, what did it say? The data structure of the membership does seem to be different, yeah, from the plot membership function. The function expects an array where each uh, sub array contains two members, two numbers. Yeah, that's not the case. However, the actual data is an array of object 
Yes, that's correct. So in analyzing display, analyzing display, async function. Yeah, we have a membership data, amplitude, frequency, alpha, risk. Yeah, so that looks legit. So we're replacing all that. Right, so we have something displayed, but it's weird. Just get one line, what? I expect it. Just the uh, one line. No, there should be more to it. Membership functions. I think they're trapezoid at the moment, so they should look like uh, trapezoid stuff. Get any errors? No errors. The uh, charts uh, now displaying uh, two points uh, zero and one. However, I expect the whole function to be displayed. Yeah, that didn't get it. Did it? Now, how do I work? I still want the uh, GPT-4 on the website to be involved. And uh, do I just... don't remember what was changed. Do I just, just send the whole code? We were working many on the uh, uh, GPT. I uh, updated the code. The charts are displaying something, but it's not correct. It's just displaying 0 and 1. Yeah, can we do those, uh, use those as prompts for GitHub? This is for JavaScript, I would imagine. It's correctly structured measures what your plot membership function, uh, it's how you can modify the analyze and display G. Have the const membership data validating the structure. We'll just follow, follow that. Catch an error. Yeah, it just checks if there are arrays. This is in JavaScript. A uh, control F five. Yeah, they are arrays. It's weird. Show the data format. Uh, in plot membership function to verify the current values. Modify the function to include this logging, just logging more stuff. We already have quite a bit of logging, don't we? Yeah, we are logging quite a bit. Current values, less than display g, const membership data. We are logging membership data. Okay, it's these two lines. I don't understand why, it just don't give me the two lines. Current values. A current values. What type current values that some of them are undefined? That must be the problem. It suggests that the result on return does not have amplitude and frequency properties. Lines JSON. Yeah, okay, that just give me an error. Now this errors. Okay, get the error now. What? Um, do I want to do that? Can validate the format of the data center to analyze the fast application, fast cap root. Do we need to do that? We already have flask JSON file. They analyze. EG down the bottom. Yeah, it haven't it's it give me it fast as if it's haven't seen the Python code. It's a bit odd, but you know the the backend is working okay. I don't know, it's all, also copilot seem to showing that uh, function and point the artifact risk. It's as if the responses are not related to the previous prompt. Look in the previous prompts for the context still taking the current data it's doing rubbish it's doing rubbish back to chatgpt uh, on the website we have the a uh, response how to fix this error also please consider the python code provided earlier yep and this one is talking as well the error message, amplitude or frequency data is missing in the response. In your JavaScript function, analyze and display EEG suggests a mismatch between the expected data format from the Flask server and what is actually being received in the response. 
was the so the prompt was for the f uh, flask root yes yeah, so that's for python code yeah we haven't modified that so we're giving it the whole 200 lines of code it's modifying can update the analyzer function to include this value so they're not included at the moment are they that's why we were not getting much uh, on the html page so we have analyze eg press json print, print printing still printing a lot turn right so we can replace all that can we and still getting the error the amplitude is there all the data is there all the data seems to be there but we are not getting anywhere question is do we need to modify javascript based on the previous modifications the latest uh, adjustments is that the current values or well that's the same and i haven't changed here is this the whole function yes getting the same error sure check that out and more it's all this it's always this little problems isn't it that preventing us from progressing display artifact risk just making sure it's a number before calling to fixed this modification will prevent the type error from occurring okay that sounds promising right to get get the current values frequency amplitude it's just showing me zero to one they are all the same and it's clear yeah this for the sec yeah, the membership data is not showing correctly. There used to be a time where ChatGPT would just find the problems and fix the code. Const result. If result amplitude undefined, average undefined. Why? Why is that? What? Why? And yeah, I'm not getting that there anymore. I'm getting the point eight five the membership functions are just zero the membership functions are still not displaying anything useful yeah the plot data plot data canvas data current value that map membership well how about the activation level which might be related to how the membership function is being plotted we might have to finish this next time i'll see you later Bye.